I just found something that said, uh, you, you're quoted as saying in talking to Real America's Voice um, that whereas January 6th was just a riot at the Capitol, and if you think what our Declaration of Independence says, it says to overthrow tyrants. So do you think that the assault on the Capitol was a legitimate exercise of uh, popular insurrection? Oh, Mr. Raskins, I, I know it's early in the morning, but this is the Rules Committee. This isn't your Trump derangement committee the, that you call the January 6th committee. My last name doesn't have an S on it, Ms. Oh, Greens. I apologize, okay. Mr. So, Raskin. We are in a position right now in this country to do something about Marjorie Taylor Greene, Donald Trump, and the entire MAGA movement. You've been talking about the Second Amendment. You came here to talk to us about the Second Amendment, I right? talk. I'm here to talk so, about due process rights and protecting Americans' okay. due process rights. All yes. right. So I, I just want to be clear. You've been quoted at least as saying that the January 6th uh, riot at the Capitol was in the spirit of the Declaration of Independence, which says you can overthrow tyrants. You've also testified that people have a right to carry guns, presumably wherever they want to go. So it seems to me that... Uh, lots of people were armed on that day, but the logic of your argument is that everybody could have been armed and brought their weapons with them. And I, I'll I, take that what as a evidence do you, What evidence so, do you have that a lot of people were armed that day? Oh, Mr. Raskin, do you it, have that to, to introduce oh, into the record? Just wait for it, but, but <laughs> when, when it comes out, presumably you'll be supporting it, right? That they, they would have a right to have guns and knives with them, is that right? Mr. Raskin. Is that your position? Uh, no, Mr. Raskin. Well, no, I'm going to ask I the think, questions here because this I is think, the Rules Committee. You've... You're not a member of the Rules Committee, Ms. Green. Are you? I'm a Are you a member of the Rules Committee? I'm a witness here at the Rules okay, so Committee. Okay, so let me just ask you a that question. That is talking about due process rights, not, not your uh, lies about January 6th, about President okay. Trump and others. Okay. I, I, didn't mean, I never mentioned him. You've brought him up. The problem is so many of us in this country are comfortable depending on these people to be the voice of reasoning. When we see them be clueless, show up without facts, without morality, and willing to do anything to remain or regain power. Let's talk about border patrol apprehensions be between porch of entry at the southwest border of terrorist, terrorist. And I have to say it is pretty rich hearing the gentleman from Georgia express her concern about terrorism when she literally was selling defund the FBI t-shirts and hats on her website for $30 a piece, $30 for the shirts and another $30 for the hats. You don't get both for just the $30. The leading law enforcement agency tasked with combating terrorism in this country and keeping people safe, and she wants to defund it. So I am not gonna take any lectures from her on securing this homeland from terror. And with that, I yield back. This is the end of American democracy if we continue down this road. No one should be allowed to pretend anymore that it's normal to have someone like Marjorie Taylor Greene who lies, who shuffles and peddle conspiracy theories to be an elected official. No one should be okay with the fact that January 6th happened and now we're trying to pretend that those people who carried out the attack on the United States capitals are somehow the patriots that we forgot about. It is not okay for this country to remain a healthy democracy if we are one to allow Donald Trump to run for president again when we know what he is capable of. All of this is on display when we see the ridiculousness that is Marjorie Taylor Greene in the people's house as an elected official. How is this the case? It's not just gerrymandering. It's not just voter suppression. It's also the willingness of certain Americans to go along with the tearing down, the ruining of the Constitution and all the institutions that made America. Not as great as she should be, but as great as she is. It's in our kids' schools. It's on the college campuses. It is in the workforce. Uh, it is in the streets. It's when you go to the store. I mean, like, you can't do anything in peace without this wokeness being shoved down your throat wherever you go. Um, so, do you have a question? Is there something funny? I do. 
Uh, how do you define wokeness? Wokeness is the destruction of normalcy and and um, <laughs> We are willing to let idiots like libs on TikTok try their BS and define wokeness in a way that is anti-American when we know wokeness has a history that dates back to 1923 about black equity, about black people standing up and recognizing and owning and explaining and articulating the traumas that are happening to them. So while they will tell you it's not easy to define, wokeness is absolutely easy to define. It is about being aware about social injustice and doing something and acting on it. Anything else is a whitewashing of the definition of woke. It is changing it and demonizing it so that you, you being the people that support whiteness, can benefit from it. You can't trick me on my history. I know 1923 what Marcus Garvey meant when he said it. I knew what the Negro Union Minds United workers meant in the 30s when they said it. I knew what Ledbetter meant when he was talking about the Scottsboro Boys when he said it. I knew what Erica Baidu meant when she said it. And I know what I damn well mean when I say it in 2024. Being anti-woke is nothing but saying you are anti-black. You are anti-equity. You are anti-injustice. That means you support. You support all of you support all of the fights to keep injustice in place. You support all of the fights to keep inequities in place. That's what it means to be anti-woke. Don't be ridiculous. Don't buy into the BS. America has never been great as she is, and she's still not great enough. Anybody trying to take this country back is trying to exclude some form of American. And it's a damn shame that so many of y'all are willing to agree with it. I'm Mundell Robinson. Don't support Marjorie Taylor Greene. Don't support Libs on TikTok. And damn sure don't support Donald Trump.